Oh, Malty, why are you doing this so late in the day? Everyone else just talked about it. Why didn't you talk about it the moment you saw it? Because I have a fucking life, assholes. That's why. Um, yeah, I was at this thing called work. And since YouTube doesn't pay me, I can't really, you know, shrink my job. You know. Anyway. So, yes, I am going to be finally talking about... Uh, the Marvel Phase 4 announcement, which was this big video talking about the future of Marvel. It really, I'm going to be talking more about two movies in particular, because we, I think we've talked enough about all the, uh, well, three, I should say. Um, probably guess who, which those three are. But yeah, I'm really excited for these, but as always, stay safe when you go to the movie theaters. Um, yeah. Also, for those wondering, no, I will not be doing a review on an, the Amphibia Season 2 finale, even though it leaked. I want to, but I decided ultimately against it because I wanted to wait and help promote the premiere. So I'm going to wait until the finale, the season two finale of Amphibia does premiere, then I will do the review. So, yeah, because, yeah, I just decided, you know, oh, the leak's out. And I'm like, I did con consider it, but then I was like, no, I don't want to be a dick because... Uh, Matt Barley, the creator of the show, has already been screwed over enough, so I am just going to wait until um, it's out, and then I will do it. Uh, and then I will do the season two review, season two finale review. Anyway, let's not uh, let's talk. Let's stop talking about frogs. Let's talk about superheroes. So yes, we had this big video talking about um, Mar the Marvel Phase Four movie announcements, the whole slate. Um, we have Black Widow, we have, of course, Black Widow coming, and then Shang-Chi, then Eternals, then Spider-Man No Way Home. And that's just this year. That is just this year alone. And yeah, I keep forgetting that Eternals and No Way, and no Way Home are coming out this year. All I keep remembering is, oh yeah, Black Widow and Shang-Chi, that's this year. Um, but I will say, people are saying, oh, the four movies really Marvel? Hey, it's better than no movies one in one year. 2020, am I right? So, yeah, I'm fine with with this sudden in slew of movies from Marvel because now they're gonna play play catch up um, after tw how 2020 went. So now it is cool that we're getting at least four movies and all the Marvel stuff because we were starved for Marvel content for over a year. So I'm at peace with it, really. Anyway, but the big three that we really got to talk about is of course the scenes of Eternals. And the other two movies that were announced that were coming in 2022-2023 era. So, let's get with the first thing. Eternals. Eternals is probably the biggest thing. Because we don't know... Because even as a Marvel fan, I know jack shit about the Eternals. It's literally just Marvel New Gods, except no one cares. Unless you're Neil Gaiman and then you care. <laughs> um, so... That's re and I did like the scenes. We don't get a lot, but Marvel apparently in the MCU is that the Eternals are going to be the first superhero team in history. So from what I little know about the Eternals is that they were created by the Celestials, and then also the Deviants were also created. It's literally all I know. Yes, I know the Eternals are a big Jack Kirby creation, but like the history behind the Eternals is really tough is really tough to follow, and this is why we don't have a lot of right... Well, we have Karen Gillan's run right now, but, yeah. Even as diehard Marvel fans are like, oh yeah, the Eternals, they're a thing. Keep forgetting about them. But it is going to be cool to see them. I, I'm hope I'm waiting for... I'm pretty sure we're going to get a full trailer very soon. Probably around Comic-Con era, if not a little earlier. That may be the time to break out the uh, the trailer. The first trailer, or at least a teaser. Um, so let's talk about the two big ones for Marvel. Uh, the two big ones for the MCU are, the first and foremost, the Marvels. Yeah, it's not it's the Captain Marvel sequel, but it's not just going to feature Carol. We're also getting Monica and Kamala. Yeah, Kamala, uh, uh, Kamala and... Um, is it Kamala or Kamala? I swear I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. I literally don't know how to pronounce it. I swear to God. I, um, uh, so, uh, so, yeah, we got Kamala and Monica showing up. And yes, uh, Miss Mar I forgot that Miss Marvel is premiering before 
this movie. I f totally forgot that that was happening because I did see the uh, film. I did see the screenshots of Miss Marvel of uh, the Miss Marvel costume, and it looks so good. It looks so good. And I am curious to see, because again, we got to remember back in WandaVision, Monica is still a little leery about talking about Carol. And I have a th my theory is that, remember, Monica got blipped, and her mom died of cancer in that time frame. So my bet is that Monica is blaming Carol for her death because either she wasn't there for Monica, uh, for, uh, for, uh, uh, for, her mo for Monica's mom, or she thinks that Mon that um, Carol's powers gave her the cancer. So either one of those two things. Um, or it could be a combination of both. And I'm very excited to see uh, Kamala in between the, in Miss Marvel between those two heads. It's going to be like... Uh, she's. I have a feeling that while Monica and Carol are kind of on edge with each other, Kamala's going to be like, Hey, guys. Bad guys. <laughs> I'm also still wondering if they're going to make uh, Kamala a inhuman or a mutant, because they haven't really specified... Because, yeah, they've kind of thrown the inhumans under the rug. And so I'm still wondering when we're going to see her powers or how they'll manifest. So really curious about that. Or they may make her a mutant. That may be... this Kamala may be our first MCU mutant. Um, which, again, I would not be shocked if they decide, oh, yeah, in the Marvel comics, she's really a mutant the whole time. Whatever, all right. Anyway, you know that will happen. If she is a mutant in the MCU, I guarantee you they will change it. Just like I'm pretty sure they're going to change Shang-Chi to be the Mandarin son to keep in line with the movies. Guarantee you that will happen. Um, I also, Chris and I, Mount Verinkin and I, were talking about like who the villain for the movie is. I am going, I'm still leaning towards Deathbird. Um, Lalandra's sister, so we can see the introduction of the Shi'ar. And Deathbird was a major villain for not just the X-Men, but Carol, too. So, I think it might be Carol, uh, I think it might be Deathbird. Uh, Mystique is still in the running, along with Rogue, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards Deathbird as it stands. I could be totally wrong, though. Um, but Mar the Marvels, that looks really cool to have all a new Marvel family, a new Captain Marvel family. Awesome. And it's in Marvel. That's that's not... And yeah, it's like, oh, DC brought out their Captain Marvel family? Well, here's our Captain Marvel family. There you go. <laughs> anyway. So... So, the next movie I want to bring up is, of course, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Obviously. You know, gotta give respect to Mr. Chadwick Boseman. And I gotta hand it to Marvel for keep going or not wanting to recast. I think that's a smart idea. And the fact that this movie... We don't know much about this movie. I imagine it's probably going to be talking about how Suri is going to be, like, rising up to take her brother's place to be the new Black Panther. That could be the case. And, uh, and we still don't know much, like, who the big, the big villain is. Um, some people are saying Namor, some are saying Doom, uh, could be anybody. It's, that's the thing with Black Panther is that this could, it could be li quite literally anybody in the running. So there's something, you know, you really have to take into account. Um, I just, like, I'm very excited for Black Panther, uh, Wakanda Forever, because it's very nice to see, we finally got our, uh, our title. So it's not going to be just Black Panther, it's going to focus also on all of Wakanda. And I imagine it, it, that would work. I think it, it would work focusing on a lot of Wakanda because there is such a vast and uh, diverse cast in Wakanda um, to really play, play around with. But I do think Suri is going to be the focal point in her becoming Black Panther. Um, anywho. So... Yeah, I'm very excited, especially, like I said, Marvels and Wakanda Forever are the two big ones for me, and Eternals, everyone's really, like, sketch a sketch on Eternals, because we don't know what that one's gonna be, because a lot of people don't know about the Eternals, so that's kind of, I imagine they're probably, they may take a lot from, uh, Neil Gaiman's comic. I have a sneaking suspicion they'll, they'll they may do a lot of, like, Neil Gaiman's, uh, Marvel Knights story he did with John Romita Jr. Because that's literally the only thing 
of note outside of the early Jack Kirby stuff with Eternals of recent memory. So that could be the case. It's kind of like when they should have done Inhumans following the Paul Jenkins Marvel Knight story. Maybe people would have been more cool with it. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Sorry this was uh, a little late to the party, but hey, better late than never. But you guys tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of this, of this announcement? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? What movies are you really excited for? And what are your thoughts, especially on the Marvels and Wakanda Forever? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.